Wagwan beautiful people, I am Chef V. If you're new to this channel, welcome Wagwan. Make sure you are subscribed down below. For today's video, I am super excited for this hair tutorial. We are about to try some extension from Rucka Hair. Now this is a British made company co-founded by two black women and they source hair extension to create a accurate match for black women's hair texture. So you already know, I am I am pumped to try these clippings. This is their Think Silk clippings in 22 inches. And as you guys can see, it is double weft and it's giving very much high quality. So my hair is freshly washed. I got these two little space ones and I'm like, girl, these space ones kind of cute. So I washed my hair overnight, blow dried it, put in heat protectant, all that good stuff. I don't have anything else in my hair at the moment. So we're gonna do somewhat of a protective style, kinda, really. I know we're about to use heat, but we're not gonna use a lot of heat. We're trying to keep the heat minimal. It is very much silk press season. You know this time of the year, the girlies, we were in the silk press. So we're about to do a mimic of a silk press type of quick weave but we'll be using clippings to achieve our look with as little leave out as possible so we're not gonna flat iron the entire head of hair we're just going to do a little leave out to do a center part type of bust down type of look but very much giving natural so i'm just um separating where i want my leave out so i'm leaving out I don't want to say a generous amount on the side, but good enough that it will cover the clippings and then give that flawless lay down on the side behind the hair type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Like we're trying to give like that Jada Wada type of natural bust down type of look without it looking too weave like we're trying to look as natural as possible so i did my separation and then now i'm just gonna corner the rest of my hair back now it doesn't have to look perfect but you want to get you want to get that flat so first i'm gonna go in with this piece and i'm going underneath the cornrows and by doing that you're basically gonna hide the cornrows when you lift the hair up so if you want to do like a claw clip type of style or something like that you don't have to worry about your cornrows peaking underneath your clippings so that's a little tricky trick that i've learned over the years of doing clippings is to put the first clip in underneath the braid now this bundle has 10 pieces and i did use all 10 pieces to get a super full look and by not having my hair out that just tells you how full the hair is on its own because i didn't have any hair out in the back so i'm just going to go around until i fill out the space and what i'm doing and i want you guys to pay attention to is that i'm mimicking what a sew-in would look like with the clipping so i'm not just putting it any and everywhere i am trying to make sure that the spaces mimic how my hair would look if i did a sew-in and that is going to give you that flat laid type of professional finish so just pay attention to how I'm putting it in. And what I realized also is that the bundle is set in a way that it's basically guiding you in which pieces to put where. So it's going from medium weft, longer weft, longest weft, and then it goes shorter and shorter. So it's like the bundle is giving you a guide on how to install the clip-in, if that makes sense. Now I'm at the very top and I have about five pieces left. So I'm gonna go in with the smallest pieces on the very top because you wanna make sure that you put the smallest on top to get that effortless flow on the top. So you can't use the very long pieces at the top. You gotta use the small ones. And then I have about three pieces left. 
And what I'm going to do is go into those spaces that I feel like need to be filled in. Like the very top right here absolutely needs an extra piece because we don't want there to just be bare. So I'm going to go in with this medium length that I have left. And then we're just going to slap it right in the center and then flat iron the hair each step of the way just to make sure that that is flat flat now this long i have a long piece and a short piece so first i'm going to go in with the long piece at the back just to make sure that my braids are not showing now what while i'm doing that let's get into the feel and the quality of this hair now this hair feels like a yaki texture here you know those yaki texture back in the day when you used to get um a traditional sew in it's giving very much that it's giving natural hair silk pressed for the gods and then i go in with a little piece just at the top right there because i want to make sure that everything is full i use the full bundle and the hair is laid it is laid i didn't experience any shedding at all and this is what i mean when i say you want to mimic how it would look like a traditional sew-in like do you see any space at all there's like no space between my webs like that is what you needed to look like now what you want to do is not forget your heat protectant when you are doing this you absolutely need heat protectant because we're going to go in with a hot comb then we're going to go in with this little tiny beanie flat iron to get the little itty spots and the edges at the front and then we're going to go in with a big traditional um, flat iron so make sure you are using heat protectant it is very very important do not miss that step any type of heat serum that you have whatever you got to use make sure it's a good heat protectant I also go in with a wax stick and this is going to help to get that molded super sleek type of look because using this again make sure you got heat protectant before you do all of this please sis and this is the first look of the blending and I am thoroughly impressed okay like do you see how excited I am ma'am do you do you see that blend do you see that blend ma'am girl like I was I was flabbergasted with how well this blended like you can't tell me i did not go to a professional salon to get this installed like girl i can do it you can absolutely do it following this tutorial now i'm gonna go back in with the heat protector in the front again i'm gonna stress the importance of using your heat protectant Now I'm going to try lining up my center part. I don't know why my eyesight is lean or what, but we're going to make sure that that is very much centered. And then we're going to do the same steps that we did on the side and flatten out the front by using the wax stick and then going in with the hot comb and then our small flat iron and then the big iron. Now, sis, I want you to look at how well this hair is laying. Sis, I needed to see how laid the hair is. Like, look how blended and flat and silky that is. It's still giving very much natural texture. It's not giving like a super, super, super silk, unrealistic 
match like it's giving a perfect silk textured match and i'm obsessed like i am in love with my hair like i facetimed my mom i showed everybody my hair when i was done and everybody was in love like they could not believe that this was just clipping they thought it was a full sew in or a quick weave like it was absolutely giving with the blendation like yes i just made that word up it's blendation okay Now what I did was take a little piece of the hair from both sides to make sure that you lay the hair flat on the back so that it's hiding the weft of your clipping. Sometimes I've forgotten that in the past and I shall not make that mistake again going on the streets with my weft showing. So you want to make sure that you have the piece of your hair to cover the back fully. Now this part is optional. I like a little bit of soup to the dupe type action for myself personally, but I don't want to wet the hair and I don't want to use edge control to make the hair just like, you know, get that greasy type of look. So we're going to be using the EBI and spray and I spray that on uh, my edge brush and I just swoop the hair in. It's still going to give soft. It's not going to give too uniformed or defined. It's just going to give a nice soft swoop and then a little bit of sideburn action and that is basically it now y'all this is the completed look and baby girl baby girl the hair is laid it is slayed it is matching it is flowing i need you to tell me in the comments if you see the flyaways do you see where my hair end and start or start and end no you do not no you do not unless i move it but if I don't move it and be doing all of this, you don't see nothing. Look, look, look at the blend. Look at the flow, like stiff wear. She is giving natural and flowy and oh my God, I, I am just absolutely in love. Let me know what you guys think about the completed look. All the details will be in the description box down below. I love y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok at Damn Dash Chef. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Go on, big up in itself. Bye, guys.